On April 20th, 2016, Edward Miriam Webster, along with his accomplice, Speed J. Alvarez, broke into his family's printing press and tried to add the word Dingleberry to the dictionary. They were arrested, charged, and placed on house arrest. My name is Edward Miriam Webster. Oh, what up, me? And I come from a very distinguished family. My father's published a dictionary, and my sister is a Nobel Prize winning novelist. But what can any of those nerds actually teach you about the English language? <laughs> Jack Jizz! <laughs> So, while on house arrest with my cleaning lady's adult son, BJ, my dog, we decided to change all that shit. Son, welcome to Idiomatic, the smash hit series where I do idioms to learn idioms. Action, dude. Afraid to ask about idioms? Don't want to risk sounding dumber than a bag of hammers? Well, guess what? That bag of hammers thing, it's an idiom. They're all around us. The official fancy pants definition of an idiom is a, uh, an expression that cannot be understood. All right, dude? But I'm not just some, you know, bro who's using words to describe other words, okay? And I definitely don't have time for made up fictionalisms like my stinky sister, Cheryl. Hey, Cheryl, stinky! Later, I consider myself more of a poet of the streets and a poet in the sheets. Ladies? <laughs> yeah, Emily Little Dickinson. Just shut up and film, BJ, bro, all right? Fuck you, dude. William Faulkner you, dude, with my elbow if you do that again. Sometimes you just feel tired. Feel Google says the English language has over 25,000 idioms. And on each episode of Idiomatic, I pledge to fully experience three at random from the helmet of idiots. So the very first idiom on the very first episode of Idiomatic is Don't have a cow. I don't have any cows. I mean, my family's got a horse using deductive reasoning. Um, I'm currently experiencing not having a cow. So it's pretty chill. <laughs> Dude. Sick fucking start. Thank you. Let's keep it rolling, dude. All right. The second idiom is. Break a leg. Yes! Oh my god! Dude. This is cool. We're about to take the most environmentally safe car in the world and make it a little edgy. This beautiful car is about to create some beautiful destruction. If the idiom says your leg must break, your leg must break. Eddie, which leg are you gonna break? I vote left. Break Eddie's leg. Break Eddie's leg. Break Eddie's leg. Eddie, break a leg, buddy. I know I said I'd do this, and I'm gonna do this, but like, Dude, I definitely do not want to do this, but let's do this, all right? I don't want to do this either. Yo, man, I appreciate you helping me out with everything, you know, man? It's just like, whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh! 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 Compound fracture! We're good! Cut camera! Cut camera! Oh! 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 I pledge to fully experience three, three, three. This episode, three idioms. Dude, I don't give a fuck what I said. Cut the camera. Listen, oh. listen, listen. I'll take oh. you to the ambulance as oh. soon as you finish the third idiom. Oh, oh. oh shit. Time heals all wounds. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. That's the third idiom. That's the third idiom. Time heals all. Oh. I can't call the ambulance. You just Google a fucking doctor time or something. You know that doesn't make sense. You have to sit there and just take it, man. The good news is that's three. Ah, ah, oh, that's a wrap. Y'all gon' make me lose my mind. Up in the air, up in the air. Don't have a cow? Translation, chill out, fam. Break a leg. Translation, straight up crush it. Time heals all wounds. Translation, time to man up. Ah. Uh.
Oh, Don't cry about your fucking leg. Get excited about all these idioms. Oh, dude, this is lucky to stay in the driveway. My dad's just gonna see this. Don't worry. The landscaper will obviously take care of it. I'm losing a lot of blood here, man. But I think people are gonna learn a lot about idioms.